People would smell the lunch and say, it smells, it's yucky, it's disgusting. Ching Chong Chinese and pull the eye backs and disgust at me. We Asian women have to endure racism and sexism on a daily basis. I do not want my children to wake up in this world feeling that they are undesirable, feeling that they are not enough, and feeling that they are not a man when in fact they are. All we ever wanted was someone to love, somewhere to live, somewhere to work, and something to hope for because we are part of the team of five million. We have burst the dam of silence. And now is our time to be heard. I just would like to clarify that this is the Stop Asian Hate Rally, which is separate from over there. So I apologize for any confusion. We are all here together. So we will just wait a little bit. When I say kia ora, I want you to repeat it back to me, okay? Kia ora! Kia ora! Hey yo, he mauri te pua, ka pakaru mai te po, tau mai te mauri. Haumi e hui e tai ki e. Haumi e hui e tai ki e. I don't want to go on much longer, but I hope you all find some healing today. I'll give it back to Steph. Nō reira, tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, we would just like to um, reiterate again, this is our protest. This area is... Um, we're doing our own Stop Asian Hate. That over there is a separate one. They have their own right. My name is Steph Tan, and I am incredibly proud to be Chinese Singaporean and gathered with you all today, regardless of our skin color. So everybody, take a look around at you and realize that this is the support we have for this amazing Stop Asian Hate movement. This movement started in light of the recent Atlanta shootings in the United States, in which eight victims were killed by a 21-year-old white male, in which six of the victims were Asian women. We must remember, this is not just an American issue. This happens in every Western society today. This happens right here in New Zealand. People wonder, what does the American shooting towards Asian people have to do with us Kiwi Asians? First of all, us, we share a common skin color. We look at them and we think that could have been us. And when people are attacked based on their skin color, we see ourselves in that. We must address the racism for where it is right now while all these brutally horrific attacks are happening. We don't want to wait for something even more extreme to happen. This is a first because it is so incredibly hard for Asian people to step outside. Thank you. Thank you. To step outside of their cultural limitations because a truly beautiful aspect of Asian culture is our quiet, respectful nature. And so when we undergo racism, we often keep it within ourselves. We hold that pain in. But now this changes. We break our silence. We speak out today so we can share our experiences and realize that Asian racism, anti-Asian racism, is pervasive in New Zealand. Growing up here, I experienced racism every day as a child. I was born with the name Haihui Tan. Unfortunately, I changed it to Steph Tan as I grew up due to childhood bullying. I also would go to school. My mum would make an incredibly beautiful traditional Chinese lunch for me. I'd take it to school and I was met with mockery. People would smell the lunch and say, it smells, it's yucky, it's disgusting. Ching Chong Chinese and pull the eye backs and disgust at me. I would cry and go home and my mother would be concerned. How come you're not eating? I wouldn't want to burden her with the racism that was brought onto me at such a young age. So I tell her, I'll make my own lunch from now. I'm lactose intolerant and I ate all those cheese snacks to try fit in, you know, like dipping the crackers and the cheese. Yeah, I did that to fit in. I made my own lunch as a six-year-old every single day while my friends had their parents make lunches for them up until they were 15 years old. My racial trauma forced me into an unnecessary independence at a young age. 
I thank you all immensely for standing in solidarity. We stand in solidarity with Tongata Whenua, with Mana Whenua, and we stand in solidarity with Asian Americans, and we stand in solidarity with Asian Kiwis today. Thank you. We Asian women have to endure racism and sexism on a daily basis. How many of us have to be killed for people to fully understand and stop gaslighting our experiences and our trauma? Please don't ask us to explain how racism is real. Please do your own research. Today, we march not just to stop Asian hate, but to stop oppression towards all other ethnic minorities. We acknowledge this as our collective struggle. We acknowledge Tangada Fenua as indigenous to this colonized land. We stand in solidarity with the Muslim community, with Pacifica peoples, with Black Lives Matter, with the rainbow community, the disabled community. Let us unite and fight back against all forms of oppression. Thank you to all the brave women who talked today. I think what I can add to the conversation as an Asian male is talk about the internalized racism I felt ever since I was a kid and talk about how storytelling in music, media and film shape how society's perceptions view Asians and how we view ourselves. If I can leave you guys with anything here today is that if you are an Asian creative it is our duty to tell that story. No one else will tell it for us and no longer will we be perceived in that light. I do not want my children to wake up in this world feeling that they are undesirable, feeling that they are not enough and feeling that they are not a man when in fact they are. I believe personally that racism starts with ignorance, then it's fueled by misinformation often because of self-interest and unfortunately New Zealanders are not immune to that and so that's why we see people act the way that they do so I ask two things of you all here today firstly never stop this never stop raising your voice to the rest of New Zealand to the rest of the world never stop to fight for our right to live safely here on this land and the second thing I ask of all of you is to open yourselves up Open your heart to those around you, your homes, your communities. Start building bridges with people that doesn't belong to your ethnicity so that we can all start to appreciate the differences we have. And once we get past that, which is so superficial, we understand what's on the inside is so similar. All we ever wanted was someone to love, somewhere to live, somewhere to work, and something to hope for because we are part of the team of five million. Tina Kota, thank you all so much. The morning after six Asian women were murdered in Atlanta, a racist tirade was unleashed in a Kiwi Asian family in Epsom. We have heard today stories of grief, solidarity and rage. We have burst the dam of silence. Now, we must direct and articulate our anger to give it continued power. We must educate ourselves and look to the wider system that has allowed this to happen. From Atlanta to Epsom, we are all connected. My mom is a Pākehā woman. My dad is a Chinese man. I straddle two worlds, as the oppressor and the oppressed. Being biracial is its own kind of privilege that I am deeply aware of, and I would like to use it today to reach out to those who are scared to support us. If you are brave enough here to be with us today, continue that work, say something, post something, put yourself on the line for us. We simply cannot change anything without you. But one thing you can do is load up your Instagram, your social media with as many Asian people who are against the stereotypes as you can. Actors, musicians, educators, scientists, and not just East Asians as broad a range of people as you can think. Go see their works, their lives, their jokes, and their stories. It's deceptively simple, but it's the one thing that has made the most tangible impact on my own bias against people from other races that are not my own. We now have the power today to make sure that we are seen. 
Being heard should not be an unexpected gift. It should be a given. I was saved because my people listened. When the world is telling you that you don't matter, remember today when we all stood shoulder to shoulder and listened to each other. We are not invisible. We are not disposable. From Atlanta to Epsom, we are all connected. And now is our time to be heard. Thank you. あ、ペテルサトンスピッチエサーデケスイタシペ。ここレイシズムケインケインエカワミアニラ。フリーはヒャンジェルカチサルゴインネ、モデンサラムデルクレゴアプロフデルウィエソラドイレイシズムコーチ